Hey rats, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, we got a special treat and we're gonna pretend that this box is not open because I totally did not forget to turn on the camera the first time. I really like the way this smells. I smell the orange. I smell the pineapple. Okay, so the smell slays, but we're gonna see if it rolls slay um, after I get done drilling it. What's up you guys, voiceover Eddie here, how are you doing? We're trying something different where I'm not completely muting the videos of me bowling because y'all wanted to hear the sound of my ass cheeks clapping. No, I'm just kidding, y'all wanted to hear the sound of strikes. Yeah, strikes. First thing about this ball, it's strong, period. Though it comes out of the box shinier than my taint after a waxing, it features the EXO cover which is early and angular. Very quickly, I'm comparing it to the Vibo, and right away, you can tell it is longer and smoother. Both the DNA coil and the Vibo are great choices when the lanes start to dry up, but also provide bowlers an option when there's early friction and a solid is gonna burn and bleed. And a pearl won't. Although on some conditions, the Vibo might not be enough, it might have a little bit too much length. If that's the case, I would switch back to the coil because I can rely on its early reading cover, but yet the continuation of the pearl to go through the pins just right when I'm deeper. Look at my, f <laughs> look at my fat ass just spinning around. I look like a rotisserie chicken at Publix. <laughs> look at my titties. Oh my god, my nipples are hard. Huh? DNA coil's just that good. Oh, oh, okay, we're, we're still walking in slow motion. Come on, oh, oh, okay, here we go. But I always get nervous when there's two ASIM pearls in the same line at the same time. Oh. Anyway. I get worried because ASIM pearls tend to overlap if you're not careful, but these are two completely different balls. Anywho, we're switching to the Sublime now, which is the long and skittiest, flippiest ball in my bag right now. Now, the reason I'm throwing this ball in here, it's completely different from the Vivo and the Coil because it's symmetrical and a hybrid, but I'm putting it in there because the Coil and the Vivo hit a threshold where if you got too far left, it burnt out and it flat tinned, no matter what I did with wrist positions. Just throwing this ball in there to give you inspiration for when you build your arsenal. And now we're back to the DNA Coil. Playing up the boards, it was a little hard because it was very difficult to control the back end reaction, but once I got in and got softer and got around the ball a lot more, this ball really fascinated me. It was so fun to throw, and I threw a couple of shots in there because we love an inconsistent king and me pulling the ball every other shot. And like I'll say in every video about a pearl, when you miss in, especially with this ball, it has enough to go through the pins. It won't go 60 feet and leave like a 210 or something. And when you miss right, it stands up very quick, but it doesn't puke and it still goes to the pins really well. This is definitely one of those balls where I wish I had a case of them so I can expand and, you know, kind of dissect it a little bit more. But all in all, this is a very great ball and I highly recommend you get it for your arsenal. Thank you, Sheriff out, period. Oh my god, work.